And while Yellen plans to tour China, a prominent Chinese businessman is on a tour of his own. We're talking about Jack Ma, the founder of the Alibaba Group. Guess where he went last week? To Pakistan. Now, Jack Ma makes news wherever he appears, in China, in Japan, in Hong Kong. But Jack Ma in Pakistan is the stuff that headlines are made of, stranger than usual. He took a quick trip to Lahore. It lasted less than 24 hours, but was long enough to set the rumor mills buzzing. What could this trip mean? Our report explores. This is Jack Ma, China's one-time blue-eyed billionaire. He founded the Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba in 1999. Since then, he has amassed a fortune worth close to $50 billion. But of late, the Alibaba founder has been out of the public eye. Reports say it's because he let the wrong genie out of the bottle. He criticized the Chinese government. This was a few years ago, and his public appearances have been few and far between ever since. So naturally, whenever he resurfaces, it's big news. And bigger still when he appears in Pakistan. Yes, one of China's greatest entrepreneurs was recently spotted in Lahore. This was last Thursday. He flew down to Lahore in a private jet for a brief visit. Reportedly just 23 hours. And it was a low-profile visit. So low-profile that even the Chinese embassy in Pakistan didn't know the details of his trip. He stayed at a private location. He didn't meet any government officials, nor did he speak to the media. So why was Jack Ma in Pakistan? Truth is, no one knows for sure. There's speculation about a business reason for the visit, both because of Jack Ma's legacy of founding successful enterprises and due to the people accompanying the Chinese billionaire. There was a seven-member delegation with Jack Ma. It included five Chinese nationals, one Danish person, and a U.S. citizen. But again, any business angle is pure speculation. Some reports claim the contrary. They say this was a personal visit. Now, it might be difficult to imagine Jack Ma dropping down to Lahore to have mutton nihari and naan. But that's more likely if you believe this man. Pakistan's former chairman of the Board of Investment, Mohammad Afzar Hassan. He's the one who confirmed the news of the visit with the Pakistani media. But personal trip or not, it has raised expectations. Hassan said that the visit will yield positive outcomes for Pakistan in the days to come. Why did he say that? No reason was given. But he wasn't the only one to peddle hope. There was also Zohib Khan, the chairperson of the Pakistan Software Houses Association. He said, and we're not making this up, that Although it was a personal visit, it helped enhance Pakistan's reputation from a tourism standpoint. Yes, some people are taking Jack Ma's trip as a watershed moment for Pakistani tourism. Do you blame them? When a country is collapsing economically, they need some pipe dreams to hold on to. What we can confirm is this. Jack Ma flew to Lahore from Nepal's capital, Kathmandu. Before Kathmandu, he was in the capital of Bangladesh, Dhaka. This was last Tuesday. In Bangladesh, he spent a short while at a hotel before flying out. He had a short stay at a private location. Sounds familiar? So, in the last week, Jack Ma spent a day in Bangladesh, a day in Nepal, and a day in Pakistan. After the 23 hours in Lahore, the Chinese billionaire flew off to Uzbekistan. So, he had an action-packed week. Four countries in four days. That's all we know for sure. Anything beyond this is just speculation slash wishful thinking. Let's wait for the dust to settle and details to emerge before getting excited about a Lahori Alibaba.